Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another small hydrogen ship, and this one is called the TJK07 Rescue Boat, which is this lovely thing right here. So it's a small hydrogen-based ship, with its purpose being to rescue as many people as possible in an emergency. Inside this ship, past this ramp, we have got plenty of chairs for you to sit your people on, and some cryopods at the back in case there is a dire emergency and you need to be fixed up as soon as possible. It's coming back out of there and pressing F10. Let's find it in the spawn menu. So this thing is only 1322 small blocks requiring the decorative block number one DLC pack and nothing else. So with that all done and out the way we'll have a quick look around the outside then we'll fly it around for a bit and maybe set a warhead to it. So this is what we get at the very front. We've got ourselves our industrial cockpit, which has got some spotlights just to the left of it, as well as a camera to help fly this thing. And we can see some hydrogen thrusters just below it to help us slow down. On the opposite side, we've got a button where if we were to press it, the ramp will fold down and allow you to get in and out and access all the chairs, survival kit and cryopods inside. This has been done via a rotor instead of a hinge, but if you're not happy with using a rotor, perhaps they're too unstable for your world, then it's quite easy just to rectify that with a hinge. Yes, we come around this side first, past our spotlight and camera, this is what we get on the side. So we can see part of the survival kit right there, and along the side we've got some lovely block work in the grey, light grey and white blocks. We've got some clean blocks, we've got some battered arm blocks, and we've got some sci-fi blocks I believe that is, going all the way along. We've got some more hydrogen thrusters to help on our left and our right, and we've got some blue landing gear right there to help us snap down to the ground. Moving towards the back, this is what's going to push us along, which is four hydrogen thrusters, another landing gear just to help stabilize yourself in case you damage one of the landing gears towards the front. And we can see some conveyors which are coming down from the back there and going along to the front. These conveyors are all connected up to some hydrogen tanks just in case you need it so there they are sitting inside and they're just linked all throughout the ship. Looking down at the top we can see our camera is sitting on a remote control block so if we happen to fall out of it while it's still in the air you can just take control of this and bring it back down. Moving along the top there we can see some hydrogen thrusters attached onto some small cargo containers and they go all the way along the middle then towards the back we can see ourselves some conveyors that just link back down to those tanks. And that is pretty much it. If you want to make this airtight you could easily cover that up with some window blocks or you could simply replace those conveyors with conveyor junction blocks in order to make it more airtight inside. Yes with that all done and out of the way let's just grab my character and we can hit this button and now we can head on inside. So that folds all the way down and we can walk all the way up and this is what we get. A survival kit right here to recharge on and we can see we've got ourselves a gyroscope right there just to help ourselves control this. We can access the back of the cockpit in case we want to use it as storage and then turning around we've got loads and loads of chairs to sit on. Plenty of programmable blocks just in case you need them. None of them are set up currently. They simply have the clock displayed on them. And then at the back here we've got three cryopods just in case you need a emergency recharge or you need to put a prisoner inside it. And at the very back, there's our hydrogen tanks. We've got some lovely interior light blocks. Looking up and above, there is our conveyors going along the ceiling. And if we come around to here, we've got some batteries just going along under the chair. And that is pretty much it for the inside. So we can come into this. I wasn't going to close it up, but we can use the main cockpit to close it up like that. So there we go. So it is a little bit of a problem, we only have a button on the outside so you will need to make sure the pilot knows you're all ready to go so you can close up the door and keep them nice and safe inside it. Number two and number three is for our landing gear so number two will be the lock or unlock and number three will be to turn them on and off in the event you don't want them to snap down. Number four is going to be for our spotlights on the side there, there we go, and number five is the camera just above it. I think we got enough hydrogen in here to take off let's give it a go shall we. So lifting off this is what we get. We can pull away from the ground at some great speed but we simply do not have the power to hover in place. We will just slowly come back down to the ground. 
Yes, going forwards, this is what we get. We are quite slow going forwards because we only have four thrusters pushing us along. And we are about to run out of hydrogen, unfortunately. So we're about to come crashing down to the ground. We don't have any parachutes, unfortunately. But if you did want to, it could be a good idea to do it. And there we go. We've just drilled a hole into the ground. We are surprisingly in one piece. We've just lost our ramp and not really much else. So there we go. We made a nice hole in the ground. And not too much was damaged. Your passengers would definitely survive that. So going all the way back up, back to where I was, lifting up and going forwards. Like I said, we are quite slow. And yeah, it's going to take some time to escape from an enemy, especially if they've got plenty of thrusters at the back. Stopping is going to be pretty much the same. We are missing one thruster, so we've only got three to stop us. But it's not too bad in the long run. So we can go nice and fast like so, and then stop. Yeah, it's not too bad and we can always tilt up like so to use our bottom thrusters to help stop going left and going right we're going to be pretty much the same as everything else we've got four on both sides so it's just going to slowly creep up to our top speed at a very slow rate coming to a stop and then wiggling with a mouse around we've got plenty of control over this there is a tiny bit of weight on there but it's not too much and could be a little bit floaty to control so you can come into here find your gyroscopes and turn them down. But I think this is all in a different language, so I can't quite find the gyroscopes where they've gone. But yes, that is pretty much it for the rescue boat. It's a very nice little ship. If you want to have a transport, might need to throw on a few more thrusters just to keep yourself up in the air and to remember to put ice inside it so you don't run out. But if you're on a low gravity planet, it's going to be perfectly fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you wish to download and play around with the rescue boat, there'll be a link to it in the description below. And as for that, we're going to just end this by slamming this into the mountainside. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.